Hey everyone, what is going on? And we have a new announcement, the Season of Light Go Battle League update, and I'm so excited to bring it to you. Now, of course, I was actually on my way back from New York, so uh, this video is going to be later than normal, and that's totally fine, but oh my gosh, we have the new season, Season 12. So let's go ahead and dive right into it and see what we got going for us. I'm so excited. Um, so let's see what it says. It says, Trainers Go Battle League Season of Light is almost here. Arriving on the heels of the 2022 Pokemon World Championships, Go Battle League Season of Light will feature the Psychic Cup, the Weather Cup, and the Halloween Cup Ultra League Edition. So excited. I read through this on the way home. I'm so excited. Several changes are coming to the Go Battle League this season. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. So the Go Battle League, the Season of Light start, and when it ends and everything like that, it begins Thursday, September 1st. Uh, at 1 p.m. PDT. So really exciting there. Uh, the rank will reset. Same as, as everything else. But here's we have the league. So we actually have the cup. So go better league season of light schedule. So September 1st to September 8th is going to be the Great League. As well as the Little Jungle Cup remix. September 8th to September 15th. The Great League and the Psychic Cup. September 15th to September 22nd. Ultra League and Weather Cup. So there you go. Another new cup. September 22nd to September 29th. We have the Ultra League and the Ultra Premier Classic. Coming back this season. Very nice. Season 20. Uh, September 29th to October 6th, the Master League, as well as the Master Premier Classic coming back. October 6th to October 13th, the Master League and the Evolution Cup, which is new. October 13th to October 20th, the Great Ultra and Master League. October 20th to October 27th is the Great League and the Halloween Cup. October 27th to November 3rd is the Great League and the Halloween Cup Ultra League Edition. November 3rd to November 10th, the Ultra League and the Willpower Cup, which is going to be another new cup. November 10th to November 17th, Ultra League and Ultra Premier. November 17th to November 24th, Master League and Element Cup Remix. November 24th to December 1st is the Master League and the Catch Cup Season of Light Edition. And then, of course, the following um, season will begin after that in, Janu uh, in December. So, Season of Light Go Battle Day. So, Go Battle Day Guzma. So, on October 1st, uh, basically all day, it's a Go Battle Day. Uh, this is going to feature Gu Guzma. So it says bonuses are going to be four times. Starters from win rewards. And the maximum number of sets you could play is 100. Same as always, uh, timed research. Uh, we're going to get timed research that day. So you get XP, rare candy, uh, a watch, and a bracelet for your avatar inspired by Guzma. And an elite charge team. Very exciting. And you're going to be able to play in the Master League and the Master Premier Classic. So I will be playing in the Master League. Premier Classic for sure, because I don't have those XL Pokemon for the Master League. And then we're going to have another Go Battle Day, Miltank. So that's going to be November 6th. Uh, and it says the bonuses are going to be the four times status, of course, and 100 sets. Very nice. And um, so you're going to be able to play the 100 sets all day. But from 11 to 2 is when you'll get Miltank as a guaranteed reward encounter. And in each, yeah, the first reward of the basic track will be an encounter with Miltank. Uh, the second through fifth reward will remain unchanged. All win rewards from premium track will be rewarded with encounters. You'll have an increased chance of encountering shiny mill tank. So again, go battle day is all day that day. But uh, if you're looking for shiny mill tank, you want to play uh, between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Uh, so time to research, time to research, focus on battling will be available for the whole day. So the day will take, you're going to be able to get XP, rare candy, and will take encounter and an elite charge team. Very nice. And the Ultra League and the World Power Cup will be available during them. So the guaranteed rank up reward. So rank one, you're guaranteed to get Pinsa, me and Fubert for rank six, Axew for um, ace rank, and then Noibat for veteran, Gumi for... Um, expert and then of course the Pikachu Libre, which could be shiny for Legend. Uh, very cool. I would have I, I, I say this every season, but I would like them to bring the Pikachu Libre down to Expert and add a new Pokemon encounter for Legend. But they haven't done that yet, maybe someday. And then the standard encounters, of course, we have Poliwag, Wingo, Metatite, Wubat, Litwick, Skarmory, Frillish, Me and Fu, Onyx, Lickitung, Hitmontop, Rolfs, Phantom, Espeon, Umbreon, Miltank, and then the five star raid boys, Axew, Noibat, and Gumi. It would be cool. Gumi could be shiny, maybe eventually. Go Battle League Timed Research Pass. This is exciting. For our most dedicated battles, a pass to access battle themed. Timed research will be available in the in-game shop at no cost once Go Battle League Season of Light begins. So it's going to be 100% free. This timed research will keep track of your victories throughout the season. Each research page will require 100 wins to complete. And doing so will reward you with a small amount of status and items such as an Elite Fast TM, 
uh, which you need 400 wins for, and an elite charge team, which you need 500 wins for. So keep at it throughout the season to see how far you can get. That is really exciting. So the avatar items, you do get the Pikachu uh, avatar items, the Pikachu Libre avatar items for rank 3, and then uh, trainers will be able to earn the following rewards for your avatar. They're all inspired by Guzma, leader of Team Skull in Sun and Moon. An Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So the Ace rank, you will get a watch and bracelet. Veteran rank, you get the pants. Expert rank, you get the glasses. And Legend post, you get... Or oh, Legend rank, you get the shirt and pose. So, I mean, at the end of the day, that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm assuming it's animated. We don't see it animated in this photo, of course. But uh, I assume it's going to be animated because all the poses are animated. But hey, I mean, it looks cool. I like the glasses. I like the shirt. I like the pants. I'm down. I want it. I want it all. <laughs> I want it all. Uh, so at rank 19, you'll receive an Elite Charge TM, and you'll also receive an Elite Fast TM as the end of season reward. So we have the Cups to talk about. So the Great League. So of course the Great League. We know the Great League. We know the Ultra League. The Ultra Premier, so it's going to be in the Ultra League. But Legendary and Mythical Pokemon are not going to be eligible. The Ultra Premier Classic is going to be in the Ultra League. Legendaries and Mythicals are not permitted. And Pokemon uh, cannot be excelled. So you can't use any XL candy on that. Master League, we know. Master Premier Classic. Uh, so no CP limit. Legendary or Mythical Pokemon are not eligible. Pokemon that have been powered up using uh, XL Candy are not going to be eligible either. So very cool. Little Jungle Cup Remix. So this is going to be below 500 CP. Only Normal, Grass, Electric, Poison, Ground, Flying, Bug, and Dark type Pokemon will be eligible. The three Pokemon most used by trainers, Ace Rank, and up in the last Little Jungle Cup will not be eligible in the Little Jungle Cup Remix. Uh, in addition... So land it will not be allowed, which I think is a, the correct decision by Niantic. So the most used Pokemon, I guess, was Scroopy, Cottony, and Ducklet, and then there's Galandit, which is also banned. I thought Vigoroth would have been one of them, but I guess not. Uh, Vigoroth is eligible, right? Uh, but either way, those are going to be the three that are banned. I'm glad to see Cottony go into land it, of course. Evolution Cup. So uh, only Pokemon that have evolved once at least once and can evolve again will be eligible and this is going to be in the great league so for example you could use an ivysaur because it evolved from a bulbasaur uh and it evolves into uh, a venusaur so the middle stage evolution psychic cup pokemon must be uh, in the great league only psychic type pokemon are going to be eligible the following pokemon are not going to be eligible which is mew so you can't use mew uh so very interesting there weather cup so Pokemon, this is the Great League, uh, the Ultra League, excuse me. So uh, the Weather Cup does take place in the Ultra League and only Fire, Water, Ice, and Rock type Pokemon will be eligible. So it's going to be interesting to see it uh, in the Ultra League. Uh, it's nice to see themed cups in the Ultra League as well. I, I That's something I did want. Halloween Cup, we know Halloween Cup from the past. Only Poison, Bug, Ghost, Dark, and Fairy type are permitted. And then we have Halloween Cup Ultra League Edition. So it's going to be the same typing, same thing, just for the Ultra League. The World Power Cup. Uh, so this is going to be the Great League, and only Fighting, Psychic, and Dark types are going to be eligible. God of War is banned. This seems like a Rock, Paper, Scissors Cup. I think this is probably going to be one of the worst cu um, cups, and a lot of people are probably not going to like this one, to be honest. But we'll see how it plays out. Element Cup Remix. So Pokemon must be below 500 to enter. Only Fire, Water, and Grass type Pokemon are eligible. Uh, only Pokemon that are able to evolve and have not evolved are eligible. The three Pokemon most used by trainers, Ace, Rank, and Up in the last Element Cup will not be allowed in the Element Cup Remix. In addition, Saland will not be allowed, which is the correct decision. So, uh, Chinchou, Cottony, and Ducklet were most used. Makes sense. I mean, you could use those three on the, on the team, and a lot of trainers, myself included, have. Uh, Saland makes sense because the only way to get Saland is to trade uh, with a low-level account, like... I think on the level 15, and so landed gave an unfair advantage because there was no way to get it outside of trading for it, right? So, um, with a low level count. So, I'm glad they banned that. So, Catch Cup Season of Light Edition. So, Pokemon must, it's going to be Great League, must be below 1500 to enter, and only Pokemon caught during the Season of Light will be allowed. So, you have to catch it during the Season of Light. We have new attacks Double Kick in Trainer Battles does 8 damage, Gyms and Raids 10 damage, Fairy Wind, Trainer Battles 3 damage. Shims and Raids, 9 damage, Fairy Wind is amazing. Now we have the good stuff. We have the good stuff. The attack changes. Zap Cannon. Uh, the chance to lower the opposing's attack is no longer guaranteed. We don't know what it is going to be. Is it going to be a 50% chance, an 80% chance, a 30% chance? We don't know. But it's not guaranteed anymore, which is definitely good. Icicle Spear, Trainer Battles. In Trainer Battles, Energy Cost increased, which is great because that is broken. Uh, rollout, the Energy Generation is... In 
uh, decreased. You might be wondering why they nerfed rollout. Well, because Pokemon that a lot, several Pokemon are getting rollout, and those Pokemon are probably going to be really good with it. I so it's probably still going to be really good, but. Uh, ancient power, so it does do more damage now. It does 60, but the attack and defense increase amount has been lowered. So instead of getting the two times buff for an increase, you only get a one time buff, I believe. Uh, Omnis win, same as Omnis win, you only get the one time buff instead of the two time buff. Because the thing is, like, whenever, like, if you're losing a game, you might, the only chance, the only win condition is like a buff, like with Giratina, for example, in the Master League. You get that Omnis win buff, you just absolutely flip that. Right, or same with Togekiss and Ancient Power, it's just too broken. Silver Wind, you're going to be doing 60 damage, but the attack and defense increase amount has been lowered. So again, instead of a two-stage buff, it's going to be a one-stage buff. Quick Attack, energy generation increase. That's going to be cool. Tackle, energy generation increase. Oh my gosh, they're buffing Tackle. I can't wait to see Tackle. So, Need Arena is getting Thunderbolt. And I don't think that's going to be too good. Ice Beam for Need Arena. Nido King is getting double kick, the fast attack double kick. Arcanine is getting psychic fangs. Tentacle, this is a big winner. It's getting scald instead of hydro pump. This is great. Poison jab, acid spray, scald. Tentacle is going to be amazing. Galarian Rapidash is getting fairy wind. Um, see, fairy wind is a mud shot clone, so fairy wind is looking really, really good. Haunta is getting ice punch. That's not going to do anything, I don't think, for Haunta. Marowak is getting rock slide. Hitman Lee is getting double kick. Okay, double kick. The thing is, I do think double kick is okay, but it just can it really compete with counter. You know what I'm saying? I still feel like counter is going to dominate. Glorian Weezing is getting fairy when I'm really excited about this. I think this is going to be really good in the Ultra League. I have a rank 120. I checked. I don't have enough XLs though. Uh, Dragonair is getting body slam. Okay, I mean it's you know sometimes we see Dragonair and like in the Canto Cup, for example, whenever the Canto Cup comes back, I could see this being great, right? Or other uh, metas. Dragonair is getting superpower. Let's go. This is. This is this is awesome, awesome. Lady, I'm gonna get the dynamic punch. Don't see it helping too much. Surf on lantern, I think is gonna be actually it's gonna be really good. You can get rid of the hydro pump. Surf is just gonna be better. Jump Bluff is getting fairy wind. That's gonna be jump Bluff pretty good. SB on psychic fangs, giraffe rig, psychic fangs, and double kick. Dunce bars with rollout. So that's why they nerfed the rollout. Steelix with psychic fangs, mill tank with rollout again. Uh, mill tank uh, rollout. A Mawile with a fairy wind. This is looking really, really good. Uh, Shadow Mawile. Oh, man. Manetric with Psychic Fangs. Camerupt with Incinerate. Don't think that's going to be too good, but... Low Punny with Double Kick. Swoobat with Psychic Fangs. A lot of Pokemon getting Psychic Fangs. We have Florges with Fairy Wind. Slurpuff with Fairy Wind, which is a Charm user, but now it can use Fairy Wind if it chooses to. Um, and we have Double Kick on Incineroar. Again, hopefully some of these Pokemon that get Double Kick are going to be really good. Galisteopod with Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw is really good. Nihil Legal with Poison Jab. I think this is going to be really good for the Master League because at least you can keep Zacian in check, right? Um, I think that's going to be really good. Of course, you do have to watch out for Steel types, but as long as you avoid Steel types, I think Nihil Legal is going to be really good. Double Wool with Double Kick. Very nice. Runerikus with Shadow Claw is looking pretty good as well. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. I cannot wait to try some of these Pokemon. Anyway, that's going to be it for Season 12, the Season of Light. We have the new Go Battle League begins Thursday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me know what your favorite update is on the Pokemon. Just let me know. I'm really curious to hear about it. I'm so excited for all the... We got a big update. We got a big update, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm excited for it. I think the pose looks great. I think the outfit is, is really cool. Guzman's not my favorite character, but... I still like I still like his, the outfit, and I'm excited to to push for a legend. But anyway, let me know what your favorite update is, as I said, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.